Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Burwell, your host of V Speaks Conversations with Heart and Soul. I'm so excited about season three, and uh, we're on day two of filming season three. We've got a big week ahead of us. And Kara Young, the executive director and president of the Destin Charity Wine Auction, celebrating its 10-year anniversary, is my guest. And we're going to get into a whole lot. She's amazing, a beautiful young entrepreneur that's taken over the world in the world of fundraising and charity. Kara, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Lisa. I'm so grateful for this opportunity oh, today. Oh, so my. We've had such a good chat prior to we getting have. on, um, getting getting live here. And I just, um, in doing a little bit of research, you're an Auburn grad. Yes. And um, I have, it's not a joke, it's something I say a lot, that basically um, the very, very best um, staff members that I've ever had um, here our Auburn grad. So I don't know what happens and with <laughs> what what's going on at that university. Well, I would like to those <laughs> graduates, <laughs> right? I know it's like fierce. Like everybody that comes out of there is pretty like well prepared and very fierce, fierce for the their challenges and the life ahead. Um, how did you start uh, working, and what position did you have at the charity ten years ago? Um, ten years ago, I was recently college graduate. I had lived in Arizona for about a year um, working with another nonprofit. Um, came back home because I'm born and raised in Destin. And um, I started as the operations coordinator. Within a year, I was a fundraising manager, director of fundraising after that. And then I was director of the foundation for about five years until last summer. That's amazing. When I interviewed for the title of president of the foundation. I'm just so grateful for the the time I've spent with the foundation, the guidance of the board of directors. Mm -hmm. um, I have so many mentors in this community and I'm just, I'm, I couldn't be happier with the career. That's amazing. Passion. So John Russell, was he there at the beginning? Was yes. He, okay. He hired me. Okay. He always says um, I was his first best decision. So he was recently um, had taken the job as president of the foundation, and I was his first hire. So um, he really had been a, a, a stakeholder in my uh, mm -hmm. career at Destin Charity Wine Auction and a great mentor mm -hmm. as well. That's so amazing and so good. It's not often that you can find uh, mentors like that that will stick with you like that long. That's a decade yes. is a long period of time. Yes. And then, um, you know, to recognize and you know that he had the faith in your abilities to recommend you for that position and that you had the gumption to go for um, the presidency yes. too, right? I highly commend you for that. Yes, I'm, I'm so grateful that he uh, positioned me well for uh, being his successor. Right. So when I first heard that you um, were awarded the presidency, um, just quietly to myself, because I know you're young, and um, you had been there for a while. I didn't know it was the complete 10 years that you were there. But I thought to myself, wow, that I don't know. That's so impressive that the board actually chose you. Um, it says a lot about them, and it says a lot about you that there is some sort of, um, you know, f let's just back up before I get to this point. You, um, and I'll let you say it better than I, but I'll cue it up with your organization, Destin Charity Wine Auction, for 10 years running, has been named by Wine Spectator. Yes. What's the award? Top charity wine auctions, top 10 charity wine auctions in the country, 10 consecutive years. Yeah. Which is you know, beyond impressive, like it would, it gives me chills and I'm not even embedded in the organization, you we know, feel like you all. Really proud yeah, that of. Destin as, um, Okaloosa and Walton County, we represent both, um, are named in that list among Napa and yes. Naples and Sonoma. Um, it's, it's really wild. impressive. And the Emerald Foundation. Right. Um, those are some big names to be in conversation with. And we're really proud yes. that we're raising that much money. Very big names. So when you have like that kind of notoriety and just human nature is human nature. So this is what like the point I'm trying to make. So when you have so much clout and you're number one, usually human nature would be like, well, maybe like the successor should be some new guy. Yes, <laughs> okay. sure. With a saying more. And then it's you. 
who's been there, who's proven yourself, yeah. you're young and you're a woman. It's impressive. Thank you. Yeah. But I think it also talks, it says a lot about our community. Um, the board was looking for somebody that is involved in our community, mm-hmm. not a newbie to the community. Right. Somebody that has the passion for the charities, the knowledge of of what these organizations are doing, mm-hmm. and and experience in this community. I mean, it, right. we're not a city. We are a beach destination, but who better than somebody that's been born and raised? Um, right. It all makes here. perfect sense, <laughs> but a lot of things sometimes don't make sense sure. when, when, when decisions are made. So I just like applaud, you know, you and the board and John Russell, because that was a really magical combination where like you knew the right thing was happening. Cause you know, a lot of times we watch things happen and they're not the right thing. Yes. You know, it doesn't happen that often that like the right <laughs> road is chosen. I understand. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been scared <laughs> all, all year and I still continue to be, but I'm very passionate. About How many returning. months are you into your presidency? I am 13 months oh, into okay. my presidency. Okay, so you're, this is I've done a full year, but okay, so every that's... year is different mm-hmm. in fundraising and and, and this community continues to grow yes. at a rapid pace. And uh-huh. so there's new opportunities and every year is different. Right. Every year has a theme. So since its inception, every year following the next year has made more money than the year before? There's never been like a plateau or a decline? Well, the, the only year um, I would say that had a difference was 2020. Pandemic. Yeah. Um, we did pivot. We had not an auction in April, but uh-huh. we had a completely virtual auction right. in August, mm-hmm. and that raised one point two million dollars. Um, Pretty so impressive. Really not not bad. Right. Um, not bad at all. And it was. And but every year we have continued to raise more money and give away <clears throat> more money to our sixteen charity partners than the year before. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Thank you. I mean, just. There, there aren't enough words to like uh, give all the accolades that is due. Um, what do you ever, you and the board ever speculate like how you are number one in beating these people out? Like you said, from Napa and Sonoma and, and other places where you would think the wine, um, you know, event would do better there than maybe in Destin. It, it is. I mean, it really speaks to a generous community. Now, we will never beat Naples mm-hmm. because they're raising about 16 to $20 million a year. Okay. But for us to be included in that top 10 yeah. um, is fierce. Is really incredible. Mm-hmm. In this past year, we just surpassed our $30 million mark. We actually have given away over $32 million since our inception in 2005, wow. which is Incredible. Yeah. It's so for incredible. this community. Yeah. And it is a, a generous community, like you say. And I don't know any place else um, that has this many charities, this many events, and it's hard to go to a lot of it them. You, I'm sure we all know that. And then how many supporters there are to the events, to attending, to the donations and everything. It is, um, it's not the norm. The community yeah. is overly generous, um, which is amazing. So a lot of charities can benefit from it. Um, How do you go about selecting each year the 16? The 16 charities? charities, The benefactors. Um, It's a true partnership. We ask our our charity partners to apply annually um, with a grant application. And then within that, they um, support our fundraising efforts. They provide mission moments and they provide auction lots. They provide volunteers to all of our events. Um, so it's not just a handout. Yeah. They're working. working. Um, mm-hmm. They're recruiting sponsors for right. our event. They're recruiting patrons. Right. They're recruiting patron hosts to host yes. dinners on our behalf. Um, they are the workforce. I mean, we're only yeah. a team of four in our office. Right. Um, they are the extra hands. They are the extra conversations mm-hmm. um, that we rely on to raise mm-hmm. as much money as we do. Mm-hmm. So um, we have a charity relations committee that meets annually to review the applications. Mm-hmm. Um, these organizations submit quarterly reports to us yeah. um, so that we can be sure we're being good stewards of of the money that's given out because mm-hmm. it is such a significant amount. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, in August, we wrote 
three organizations a check for three hundred plus thousand dollars, and making sure that that money goes exactly where it was intended to right. is is also part of the right. process. And that was at the check presentation yes. that we were at, right? Yes. And so, how many people? More than three, right? Did we three organizations received over three hundred thousand? Over three hundred, yeah. But, but how, in total, we gave away three point four million dollars that night. That night, yeah. That is just um, overwhelming to understand. I, you know, being, that was my 11th check presentation, I -hmm. still get chills. Mm -hmm. I still get emotional Mm -hmm. every single check that we give out because Mm -hmm. it can have such a significant impact Mm -hmm. on a local organization. Um, And until the kids in our neighborhood aren't at risk Mm -hmm. or aren't Mm -hmm. underserved, Mm -hmm. we're going to keep doing it. Right. One of, um, you know, I'm cheering for everybody, you know, everyone that's a recipient, but like in this particular case um, that we attended for Hillary Glenn's Point Washington Medical Clinic, because, you know, she's new. Yes. And that was almost, it feels almost single handedly like the charge that she had to start with. And for a long time, I mean, I know she has a board of directors and all that. and I know people are, are helping, but it was still so new. She was, um, she's trailblazing. Yes. In a big, big way. And she has an unbelievable heart and vision and intention for what she's doing. And we've walked over, um, you know, over well over a year ago to see um, the building in play and everything that she's planning on doing. And it is like um, a a nirvana for like a medical clinic, like with the bakery and like just like all of her intentions are with love and respect and um, caring, yes. medical as well as wellness and mental health. And Not only is she a great human, but she's brilliant. Yeah, she is brilliant. I mean, radically inclusive health care. That's yes. something Destin Charity Wine Auction wants to get behind. Yes. And they were um, new to de- the Destin Charity Wine Auction yeah. family this year. Yes. So they just received their first check. Mm-hmm. Um, and we can't wait to continue know, supporting them. And yeah. we can't wait for the clinic to be open. Yes. Um, the foundation is sponsoring the pediatric exam room. So oh. we are very, very honored oh. to do so. Oh, that's... Is that where some of the money is coming yes. from that? Oh, that's awesome. Pediatric, okay. And then CVHN, which I'm on the board, you yes. know, I mean, that was good that, you know, they're doing good work. They really are. And like, you know, so many others and, and caring and sharing, you know, we were talking about that early, earlier. They've been around for a really long time. They have. And um, on on a conversation, on a podcast that I had with Carly, who's uh, the exec- executive director, I had this um like a kind of an epiphany when I was talking to her, and I, I don't know if you heard me say it, um, in that really when you think about how many nonprofits there are here, how many events, that really it, there is a, a high sophisticated level of marketing to get your marketing dollars for said charities, right? Absolutely. So you have this benevolence, you have this good intention and this sort of good Samaritan to do a lot of good work. And then somehow you have to be a master marketeer, right? Yes. To raise money. Absolutely. And when you think about the, like the juxtaposition of that, it's kind of contrary to one another. It is. And so like when you're talking about um, also like money, money, sometimes here, even in this small little company, um, I, I go home and I go, did I say the word money like 18 times today? <laughs> and it's boring to talk it about is. money all the time. <laughs> it is, you know, but you have to have money to do things and you have to have money to do, uh, create visions, to see things through to the finish line. And it's a necessary, com- uh, you know, uh, it's a necessary currency to do anything, right? But sometimes I don't like talking about it a lot because it just seems like it takes like a lot of the, the heart out of what you're doing, but at, by the same token, you have to have it. So you just have to like get okay with it. And you have I to think, get comfortable with I think that was part of the vision of Dustin Charity Wine Auction is mm-hmm. let's take on the burden of fundraising uh-huh. for these organizations and have them focus on their programs and yes. have them focus on doing the work. And we yeah. will, as an organization, help the burden of fundraising. Right. By That's, getting everyone together annually yeah, or yeah. or twice a year for big yeah. events, Destin Charity Wine Auction, and then we can write you a check, mm. six figures. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You 
focus on your clients because that is what, you know, you are good at. Right. And that's what we brought you on right. for. Yeah. Um, that's amazing. So that it can yeah. help. Yeah. Well, um, I'm a little nervous because V is going to host a dinner. We I need so guidance excited. and help about like all that as what goes into all of that that makes like the best dinner that you could have, but that's also a fundraising aspect too. So we've got to like really get on our A game, but you want to announce where we're going to have it? At the new A&R? Yes, at Camp Creek, the new yes. Camp Creek. Um, I heard it's absolutely beautiful. It is so beautiful. Um, it's like when I, 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 I went on a fam trip there to have dinner um, with the, the folks from St. Joe, and I wasn't expecting it to be that different and that amazing and that luxe. It's like very luxurious. It's a country club, you know, big time. And, um, you know, you don't know it until you go, go in there. But I am so um, thankful that we get to have it in a new place. Yes. You know, because I wanted, you know, something new and it, fresh. It's going to be stunning. And I know that you will knock it out of the park oh, as a host. We're so grateful yeah. for you for doing that. So happy. To yeah. benefit CBHN. Yeah, and then, yeah, CBHN and, um, you know, rah, rah. So I'll, I'll repeat like a little story that I told you before we started um, filming. And that is, you know, back, you know, eight years ago, seven, eight, nine years ago when, you know, my husband and I would go. And, like, we would go into, like, that room where, like, there was so much hype and so much energy going on for, like, five hours for the auction and the yes. bidding and watching people, like, trying to outbid each other for, like, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to go to a trip to Hawaii. And, like, it's just, like, mind-blowing to see, like, it in action. Yes. You know, it really is. And even I, when I was there, sometimes I would be, like, so... Like, maybe a tad uncomfortable, like, wow, well, one, maybe a tad uncomfortable that I didn't have $40,000 <laughs> to bid to go to Hawaii, but was very impressed with the people who did, who can. right, who yes. can. And and not until I started um, serving in, on some boards very recently, so I'm on the other side, right? Yes. And I'm seeing, like, how vital it is to that these organizations have to have money to perpetuate, you know, buying the new Mo the second mobile bus, yes. um, better dental care for kids that, you know, don't have any insurance. And then, like, I had this epiphany. I'm like, okay, well, that is necessary. You know, I'm like, fundraising is an art in and of itself, which you all have clearly mastered, right? Yes. How to be the masters <laughs> of fundraising. <laughs> Hats off to you. But then when you know the, 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 the end of the line, where the money's going at the end of the line, it does put the full circle into perspective, and yes. then you understand, yes, it's okay to ha have events that are completely um, reliant on making money. Yes. Because the money is going to really good use. Yes. We, as an organization, fund year, fundraise all year long to basically cover the expenses of the auction weekend mm -hmm. and and our administrative costs. When we go into the auction, every dollar is then going straight to a charity, um, which is a really a blessing, but mm -hmm. it is, you know, thanks to our sponsors mm -hmm. and our hosts like yourself and our board um for really making that happen. And I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about our vintners. Yeah. Um, yes. They are extremely generous in donating their wine and putting the trips together, but it is also a business transaction for them as well. Mm -hmm. And being able to connect all of these wine enthusiasts in a room, and like you said, it's a little bit of chaos in there. We play welcome to the jungle as we're right. entering the auction tent for a reason, right. because it really does feel like that. Yeah. It is, um, uh -huh. but the energy in that mm -hmm. room is oh, it's, just... Mm. <sighs> It mm -hmm. is, it's, o it's overwhelming, but it is so engaging it is. and it makes it just right. really a great right. time. Yes, <laughs> it does. And the auctioneer is, um, I mean, you have to see it to believe it. Yes. You know, I mean, that's like, that's a whole um, specialized field. I don't think there are too many people that can do that that well. It is a talent that I do definitely do not have. Yes. Um, we are so grateful for yes. him. Yeah. And he really, is it the same person that you have? Every Charles year? Anton okay. is Let's our give him a shout out. Cause he he's is something wonderful. He, um, lives in New York city. Um, 
does tons of events, okay. but we are just so grateful that he comes yeah. all the way to Destin yeah. to you can help tell us. he's a professional. Yes, yes. <laughs> professional money raiser, right? <laughs> um, and and then what about all the other people? Like I'm just jumping on like at the 11th hour here, but like all the other like really big donors, like the Dugas family. Dugas. Been huge, right? Yes. I mean, they've been a part of our organization for years, um, almost since inception, mm-hmm. they have been not only contributing to Destin yeah. Charity Wine Auction, but yeah. our family of charities. They are huge so funders. Yeah. That's Lynn and Steve Dugas, um, and then they preside over the Family Foundation, the Dugas Foundation. Yes. And what they have poured into this community, like it can't, cannot be overstated. It cannot. You're because right. it is... It is something that, you know, I think people just get used to their name and like, oh, yeah. That, but then when you really look at and know the totality of the amount of money, energy, and kindness that they have poured into this community, it's something. It really is astounding. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. there's so many more just like them um, that are just yes. such, that have such a heart for yeah. philanthropy. Mm-hmm. It is it is just right. so great to right. witness. And um, then and then you have your star Emma Lagasse that you get to um, you know, draft on that mega stars. Yes. Stardom. Yes. And our <laughs> um, our presenting sponsor of the auction, uh, the Jumanville family, mm-hmm. Ryan and Raven, they're just beginning to mm-hmm. be the Dugas uh-huh. of of this area, but they have donated a million dollars to Aliqua. Yeah. Yes. They have donated a million dollars to Destin Charity Wine Auction. Um, they continue to give annually to organizations in our community. They have such a heart yeah. for giving and yeah. for children. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're very young. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they are also beautiful people, and they are very young mm-hmm. too, and mm-hmm. it's just... It's amazing what this community can attract mm-hmm. in terms of yes uh, uh, community members and people with such generous hearts. Right. Um, can you tell me something that happened over the last ten years that like you that stopped you in your tracks where you just went, "Wow, this is why I do this." Like, is there any story that you have about like something that? one of your benefactors over the years has told you what the money has done for them or for the people they serve? There are so many stories. I mean, we attend events. We attend um, home um, house breakings for or ground breakings mm-hmm. for homes for Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. Being able to see yeah. the impact that they're going to have, the nights with the roof above their head and the security that they're getting, mm-hmm. um, to be able to, you know, and some of the clients we can't see yeah. um, for, you know, right. su- privacy. But right. I, every mm-hmm. year at our check presentation mm-hmm. ceremony, which is usually at the end of August, um, that is my favorite event of the year. Mm-hmm. You're really seeing the impact. Mm-hmm. Um, those organizations and then the staff that work at those organizations that get to attend the event um, and the impact that they know what they can give their clients, mm-hmm. um, That. That is, it speaks to me every single year, and mm-hmm. I, that is really impactful mm-hmm. to me. So are you doing anything different? Like in the world of fundraising, just like any business, right, because it is a business, mm-hmm. there's always like the new strategy, like we have to do this or we have to do this. Are there any new strategies that you're forging ahead on now that you're going into your second decade, in your second decade? Well, in 2019, Destin Charity Wine Auction softly launched our Legacy Society, which is a a planned giving for individuals or families that want to consider us um, in their will, um, want to give before their death. Mm -hmm. Um, And that serves as, and this fund serves as a safety net for our organizations should there be a natural disaster Mm -hmm. or the very next year we had COVID. Oh, so you had started it the year before. Yes, and then it was a perfect case study on why this fund, um, our quasi-endowment fund, is really important for sustainability of our organization and for the organizations we serve. Because if we don't have a good year, Mm -hmm. they don't have a good year. And Mm -hmm. we work really hard that the organizations aren't... um, really reliant on our mm-hmm. money, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, we're giving a big check and they are mm-hmm. reliant. Um, mm-hmm. And the community continues to grow mm-hmm. and the need continues to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, and so creating that safety net mm-hmm. in our legacy fund is is something that mm-hmm. 
is new for us, but is going to be really important mm -hmm. for our future. Yeah, that's important. And then in the last two years, am I right in sort of like gleaning when I would get the the very large annual, um, the auction book? Yes. Um, that then you you open the bidding a little bit earlier than that night, right? That's yes. like a new thing that's very effective yes. for fundraising. All virtual bidding. Yep. Thankfully, we had started also that in 2019. Okay. So that 2020, the virtual bidding was already... You trained them. <laughs> was the, already... The before. Yeah. <laughs> accessible yep. for Good. most of our clients. Right. But right. Um, yeah, so our silent auction, um, if you can't attend the auction weekend, our silent auction, we have hundreds of right. opportunities to buy wine and trips. Right. It opens early, yep. closes late, so mm -hmm. that you get a little extra time in case right. in case we need to squeak another dollar out right. of you after the auction. Wow. <laughs> you know, I've, I've it's been a long time since I've been doing this, and so sometimes I don't even remember half of the things that I've done because it's been a lot, right? But I do remember at the very beginning of the charity, and you must have been there in the 10 years where Todd Rukovich, Rukovich was there, and then we would do the auction book for you for the first like couple of years. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. So when I got the last one, I said to myself, thank God <laughs> we didn't have to do this one. <laughs> Because it's this big. It is. It's really. That, that's hard. Whoever is doing that, that's hard. I know it's hard. It is. Um, our director of marketing communications, Kate, who's oh. st looking at us right okay. now, she is uh, She is the visionary for the auction okay. catalog. And we um, we are actually in our 19th year of, yes, of the auction. Because that was so, before. I, yes. Todd was before. Um, was. Yeah. Was just before I was hired. Okay. Todd Todd was uh, president of the foundation, yeah. Yeah. Um, but Kate and uh, Francis Roy Agency are really okay. uh, very yeah. connected. The few months yes. leading up to the auction, yeah, <laughs> creating it, that book. Well, Kate, more power to you <laughs> and Francis Roy because it was so heavy. I just went, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> we're not this, doing this. We're not because it's too hard. It really is. Yeah. I mean, like I said, they're. 55 live lots. There mm -hmm. are hundreds of silent auction mm -hmm. lots. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of content, yeah. written content in there. Yeah. There are, we have an extremely generous base of sponsors, uh -huh. um, all local sponsors, yes, which is also really amazing um, because we don't have a Delta Airlines sponsoring right. or American Express, but right. if they're listening, we'll take your money. But yeah. <laughs> um, we have, you know, tons of sponsors and and their ads are in that catalog. I mean, it is a lot to put together, yes. but it is, um, we're really proud of it well, every I mean, year. <laughs> the the, the uh, weight of it alone, you know, lets you know this is a serious, uh, a well-run and um grown organization, you know, like you can tell you're not just starting out, you know, so that's unbelievable. Let's just talk about how people can get involved because there's various ways that they can. One, um, this is twofold. One, how they can get involved. And two, like, what's the weekend like? Let's describe the weekend to people okay. that haven't been there. Okay. The 19th annual Dustin Charity Wine Auction, April 26th through the 28th, held in Miramar Beach, Florida, which is, um, a beautiful Grand Boulevard. Uh, the package is $3,000 a couple. It includes a patron dinner of your choice, one of which you are hosting. Yes. So so join us. Join us. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and transportation is included to and from your dinners. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday's main event, the reserve tasting and live auction, which is held in a 20,000 square foot air conditioned tent in Grand Boulevard. Yeah. Um, and that is from one to approximately 6 PM. And that is where, um, a majority of the fundraising mm -hmm. happens and a lot of really nice wine is consumed. Right. So one other thing I didn't know, I still don't know is I know that the vintners are coming and they, you know, um, are assigned different homes that they're going yes. to be at. How are the chefs chosen to be paired with the wine at the person's dinner? Uh, we have a lot. We're very blessed. We have a very talented uh, local culinary talent. Um, so we rely on a, a handful of chefs in our community to be the chefs for those dinners. But we also have um, connections to chefs in Atlanta and chefs in Birmingham that want to participate yes. every year. And so it really depends on where the host is having the dinner. Okay. Um, if you're hosting in a restaurant, that lends itself to being the, that chef. Yeah. If you're hosting it in your home, then mm -hmm. uh, the host couple really gets to help decide who 
Great. It's going to be there. Awesome. Thank you. And then if you want to just talk about how someone could participate in the legacy program. Absolutely. Um, our Legacy Society, we have information on our website, um, and, and you can reach out to myself as well. Um, joining the Legacy Society is, I know, not a decision people are going to make overnight, but um, something that will leave a lasting impact for forever. And then finally, we have another signature event that we do in watercolor in the fall, Harvest Wine and Food Festival. Um, that is a multi-day event, not quite the, the $3,000 price tag of, of the annual auction, but a great way to get involved. Um, and then finally volunteering, mm-hmm. all of our charities need volunteers. And I, I strongly suggest, you know, take a look at our website, find an organization that speaks to you and, and, and connect with them and put some time in volunteering. Awesome. Thank you. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I'm incredibly impressed with the organization. I'm also very impressed with you. Thank you very much. And your board. Yes. And I think, and then, you know, our community, you know, hats off to our community of um, incredible generosity uh, and goodwill. I mean, we are blessed. We live in a unique place. We really do. We do. It never ceases yeah. to amaze me well, how beautiful the people and this community are. Agreed. So agreed. Well, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our chat. Um, So much goodness and um, our lovely guest. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.